Hi, I'm Mike George, Senior Naturalist with the Cincinnati Park Board, and today we're going to look at a little bit of the history of beautiful Burnett Woods. Burnett Woods was a true gift to the city when in 1872 the heirs of Judge Jacob Burnett entered into a lease agreement with the city of Cincinnati to honor Judge Jacob Burnett, one of the founding fathers of the city of Cincinnati. One of the first amenities added into the park is today perhaps one of the most popular. It's this beautiful four to five acre lake, Lake Burnett. There was a natural ravine running through the park here that made it largely unsuitable for development. This ravine or small valley started up on what is today's UC campus around Patricia Corbett Auditorium, ran through what is Nippert Stadium, crossed Martin Luther King, forms the basis for our lake here, and extended all the way down to the corner of Clifton and Ludlow Avenue. Today is one of the natural areas of the park that brings people and wildlife into Burnett Woods. During the Great Depression, there was a need to get Cincinnatians back to work. There were federal work projects throughout the park system that added to all the amenities that we still enjoy today. One of them would eventually bring nature education into Burnett Woods. It was the creation of the Trailside Museum in 1939. A team of Civilian Conservation Corps workers, local citizens, worked on building the Trailside Nature Center, which we know it today, um, as a place for the citizens to come to learn about the trees and flowers growing in the park, the local wildlife, a place to come for school groups, scout groups, adults of all ages. Perhaps the all-time favorite amenity in this park also came out of that Great Depression. It's the concrete slide in Burnett Woods. Constructed in 1940 here along the steps that take you down to the picnic grove, it has been a site for multiple generations, enjoying a quick slide down to the bottom and then a race back up to the top to do it one more time. Another amenity that was added to Burnett Woods as a gift to everyone was the Burnett Woods Bandstand. Created in the early 1900s, it was one of many bandstands that went up in parks throughout the city. Washington Park, Eden Park. These were popular gathering places for music during the summer, sometimes dances in the evening. It's a place to watch Shakespeare or maybe do yoga on a Saturday morning. The Burnett Woods Bandstand, a gift to everyone. Perhaps one of the most interesting features in all of Burnett Woods is the Stonehenge structure behind me. Now what we euphemistically call Stonehenge, this is really the H.H. Richardson Memorial. What you see behind me are the remains of the old Chamber of Commerce building, which burned to the ground in 1911. The building, noted for its time for its architectural beauty, uh, was one of the hallmarks of the downtown Cincinnati skyline. The pink granite was saved for possible later use. There was a thought that we might construct an observatory out of it here in Cincinnati. It went unused. In 1974, students from DAP, just across the street here on UC's campus, decided to build this structure to honor H.H. Richardson, the architect originally responsible for the Chamber of Commerce building here in Cincinnati. So what a, an amazing gift to the city, Burnout Woods. We're coming up on its 150th anniversary. It has something for everyone, from nature education programming and summer camps for the children, that beautiful free fishing lake stocked with bluegill, largemouth bass, and channel catfish, from an 18-hole frisbee disc golf course, free concerts in the summer, and all of this beautiful nature right here in beautiful Burnett Woods. I encourage everyone to come out and explore this 90-acre park right here in the heart of Uptown. <music>